delivery only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serve it up. He's a cook for the whole family. These days, he's getting too big to be chinned, so now he's a paralegal breaking up on seven and he's making magic he's 23,000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. So now, I'm buying me a fast boat trip. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation. Man, you are to kill me. He's my, he's my kid. How Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. So we bought the new Maifatsu monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joe in the back. Oh, gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the How air. How you doing? My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my colon irrigated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the information superhighway, the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap. But how can it be so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, who do you want to buy an ABC? What do you do, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy a CD online, and then I just use like a traditional format, so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. It's incredible. I also like jazz and cooking and reality, so the internet is really good for my hobbies. I think it's amazing. I do go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their stock options or their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, uh, well I want to say the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. It's probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Thank you, Laszlo. Is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio right the second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but well, you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. I mean, what's your name? How you doing, kid? I'm sorry, I, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia, only difference, you know, but, you know, men, M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word, only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a... Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So, less of that clever stuff and give me some advice because I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend, and at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And then it all went wrong, and so, you know, I found someone else, and... He seems real 
real nice, but you know he don't talk too much, so I really can't tell if he likes me. Well, I guess what I want to know is, you know, how do you tell if a guy is serious? I mean, you know, he treats me good, but no fancy crap. Always working and hanging out with the guys. Um, say, you don't think he's like you? What do you mean like me? What are you insinuating? That he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. It's a rally car you can get the car. Starting at seven. All the entertaining banners to be installed all night, all day to camp. Then, when the tens of thousands gather for the car, we're going to march on the town hall. Last of all, the people have spoken. They have said, no, not to my sense. So, folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourselves down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, uh, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. You did good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? Here's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know, strong, Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific, terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. Amazing. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's, uh, what, 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 what's up? Oh man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. <laughs> and exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay, right now I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4-0 and it's just, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At air... That's the kind of dedication Thank you. 
Be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, and it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. 